Hello and welcome to the Man V Fat Newport Season 7 Award. Good evening! It's my mm. favourite night. It's been a while. It, well, right? right? We're going we're gonna to travel back in time. Um, a whole new teams we're talking about. Well, we're talking about old teams. Old teams, of course. Old teams. Of course. Five um, weeks into the new teams. Six. Five Seven. Weeks. Five weeks. Five weeks, but a friendly week and a bye week. True, truth, 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 truth. Welcome, um, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, we're going to start by going through the, the winners. We're going to start by going through the league winners for the pitch. The pitch champions. Before we do that, go on. How was your Saturday? My Saturday? How was your Saturday? It was really good. Yeah? Um, yeah, didn't do very much. Took my daughter swimming. Um, I... I did a cartwheel for the first time. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, did a That's cartwheel. Really good to hear. Uh, it was, it was, it was lovely. It was lovely. I might try a cartwheel too. No one saw it. No. No. Oh. but that that was me. Seven was pits. Good. How was your Saturday? It was good. I got a load of admin done in the morning. It was nice. I had my my boy in the afternoon. And we just we he just came and undid all that admin and yeah. destroyed <laughs> destroyed my home. And I love it when he does that because you know it's just. If I could have, they say with when kids, when kids frustrate you, at the end, right, when they're grown up and they've moved on, if you could have that moment back, and that's the only one you could have back, would you take it? Yeah, I'd take it. Genuinely, uh, the pitch does the same for me when I see people blossoming. And the teams that blossomed last season were, for the Amber League, the, uh, the league winners on the pitch were the Pink Lazies. The Pink Lazies. Next up, we have the Black League winners for the pitch. Bok. What does Bok stand for, Stan? Beautiful, of course. Of course it does. Yeah, beautiful, of course. And then the Cup winners on the pitch were the Bogeymen. The Bogeymen. By yeah. far and away, the worst kit in the whole of that last generation of teams. I don't believe that. In Was slightest. not here leave, for it. Leave them alone. Was not here for it. And then on to the Scales winners. First of our visits to Hefty Shades of Grey. The absolute Galacticos Hefty Shades of Grey. They smashed the scales. What a fairy tale story this was. As soon as they got a shot of me, they achieved absolutely phenomenal things everywhere. You were their greatest transfer. <laughs> um, Black League winners on the scales were Bizno, and that leaves us with the Cup winners overall. Who was it? It was the Hefty Shades of Grey. Hefty Congratulations to yourself. We shouldn't skip over that. You oh. were on Bizno. Big up Biz. Big up Bizno. But yeah, top lads. Big up Hefty Moore. A fantastic season. And we stick with them in the Amber League overall league. I don't think uh, the combined league. I should say. I'm not sure Hefty won a game on the pitch. There might have been a draw, but every result was overturned by their scales. Majesty. Absolute majesty. Love that. Three of my favourite players of all time are on that team. You can tell me about them all later. Uh, Black League winners for the combined were beautiful, of course. Of course. It's Bok. And, and we finish up there with the cup winners, the overall combined cup winners. It's that lion eating a pizza. Is it a pizza? Mm. It's Bizno. Yeah. It's I'm glad we've done away with the is no hit no stuff in yeah. season eight. It's finally dead. Thank God it's, it's dead. finally dead. <laughs> Um, player of the season now we're going to go to Paris Spam Germain this and man hell of a man hell of a German it's Paul James Paul James I think that's the second in a row you know I think you won it in the season before too and these were nominated all by the captains we didn't do votes we didn't get all that it was the captains bowing out and choosing their best man Beautiful, of course, player of the season. He, he was a regular, a solid man, and he was in between the sticks. The phenomenal league champion. Does so much for the league. We wouldn't be the league we are without him. And a deserved award. Big up league champion. Um, player of the season now for Bisno. Player of the season for Bisno. This man was a rock. John Fryer. One of my other favourite players of all time. We're going to switch lanes again to the Bowie Men. They of the Black League fame, or former Black League fame. And this man had a great season off the pitch, but on the pitch, he was turning heads. He was smashing goals. He had a fantastic season. And it was Jandalee 
I'm sorry, Jandalee, I haven't, I haven't worked on the pronunciation of your surname and I shan't try it. I believe it's Morgan. <laughs> Congratulations to Jandalee. Jandalee Morgan, well done. Player of the season for the Pink Lazzies. The Lazzies, could the it Lazzies. be anybody? Who, this, this could go to any one of them. They had a real transformation in that season. Who was it? It was David Bowd. Oh, the Bowdmeister General. He's, he's the man. Pre-haircut. 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 Pre-haircut, Pre-haircut David Bowd. He didn't need that haircut. What's he going to do for the next season? Uh, hefty Shades of Grey, player of the season. They were going to give it to Billy for leaving. Uh, but they didn't. They chose Simon Phillips. Could it be anybody else? Oh, gosh. Oh, absolutely not. On and off the pitch. What a player. Eight what a inches guy. lost. Eight inches. Not from his penis. The Kaiser Chefs. The Kaiser Chefs only had one season. They rebranded from whatever name they were before. They got a new badge, they got a new kit that wasn't yellow, and they made a go of it. And they had a really, really great season. Um, this man has gone on to, this man has gone on to other things we shan't talk about here. But of course, big congratulations for season seven, player of the season, Nathan Watkins. Well done, Nate. Good luck in the by-election. Um, then we're on to the slow boaters. I called these the show bloaters for ages and ages and ages until I learned that was the that was the tournament team. Your head was stuck in Manchester. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The player of the season for them was Mr. Ray Higby. Well deserved. Really, really. Good. He did brilliant driving them on and off the pitch. Really good. The Crocked Wombles. The Crocked Wombles were my destination team. They had me on board for season eight. I was very, very appreciative of them. It made us feel very welcome. Possibly my, my own favourite moment of the season was taking a shot. One of my only shots of the season. Um, and our player of the season taking that exact same shot at the exact same time. Both of us falling over and conceding a goal in our own net. Adam Jones. Yes, Adam. Yes, Adam. Well done, Ad. So, we are now on to Player of the Season for Cookie Dough Boys. Cookie Dough Boys, Ben and Jamie's. If Ben and Jerry got a look at this, I tell you, I think they'd have something to say. Who was it? It was the phenomenal Mikey Westerbergie. Mikey Westerbergie. Mr. Mikey Westerbergie. Yep, yep. Congratulations. And now it's on to me, my player of the season. Oh, we've moved things around here. Ooh, we've shuffled. We're now, going straight to the headliner. I've chosen someone um, that I think has had an absolutely superb season on the, on the pitch, superb season on the scales, and has done a lot around the club. And absolutely top bloke, um, so long as he keeps his head. And it is the amazing <laughs> Mr. Christopher Edwards. Congratulations, Christopher. Well done, Eddie. Um, who's next? Billy, who have you chosen? Um, do you know what, I say, this is the eighth time I've said this, but I'm so humbled and so thankful that you let me choose somebody as a player of the season. To, to be able to recognise someone and people actually care is, uh, is truly humbling. So thank you very much. This player um, had, had a phenomenal season. Uh, I can't think of any other words to describe it. I use that word quite a lot. He really lit a fire under me, particularly in the last few weeks of the season, where he quietly just went about his business for the first 10 weeks, and that last four weeks, we really pushed, and he really dug in. Who is it? He hit his BMI Boss Award, the incredible Ray Higby. Yeah, well deserved. Absolutely well deserved. Congratulations. Man. Eddie, Ray, well done, both of you. Coach Dacey, what's, what's assistant coach Dacey said? Coach Nacy, he, I can't remember what he said, but I'm sure he would have said all the buzzwords. Uh, a man, a man that really kept his team grounded, I think. Yeah. In the midst, um, well. And the, the midst, wonderful, I remember what he said. He said, this man kept his team grounded, superb on the pitch, superb off the pitch, and some fine locks. A wonderful head yes, of hair. Yes, a wonderful head of hair. It goes to Paul James. Paul James. He had to keep his, he had to, you know, be captain by Morling, which is no mean thing. I don't know who Morling is. Um, <laughs> Champo. Champ- 
Champo. Champo. Let's have a look who Champo chose. Champo. Now, Champo's gone uh, goalkeeper's union here. He's, he's supporting the other goalkeepers. But this guy did an um, amazing job last season. He made sure um, lots was going on around the league and made sure everyone was happy, made sure the clipboard was filled out and all of that stuff. Uh, assistant coach Champo's player of the season goes to Mr. Cry Gulliver. Million congratulations to Mr. Cry Gulliver. Players, player of the season. Players, player, player of the season. Is that stab? Players, player, player of the season. Listen, this guy was so good. He was voted for by captains and vice captains. Come in, really coming into his own. I think. I think this is the theme of this award ceremony. People really coming into their own in season eight and really becoming the men that they want to be. So massive congratulations to Dan McKenzie. Or Daniel. Or Daniel. Depending he loves, on the day. He loves me calling him Daniel. Well done, Daniel McKenzie. Um, the Golden Glove. Team of the season. Team of the season. Now, this is a strong team today. Strong team. So, Golden Glove goes to Mr. Craig Oliver, as voted for by the players. Craig was in my team last season, and without him, we would have conceded 1,256 goals. True story. True story. Do you want to talk us through the defensive, defensive dynamo? Defensive dynamo. Um, he's a very good defender. He's a very good defender. Reads the game expertly well. Communicates to his team further on down the pitch. The template football player, yeah. I think. Uh, the wonderful Richard Doody. Yeah, it's Mr. Doody. Doody, 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 Doody. I would do that. Ah, but I, I don't want to be out of tune. Uh, midfield maestro. Midfield maestro. Real strong player here. He plays for the Pink Lazies. He was and is Mr. Lee Jones. Midfield maestro. I think the engine award you probably stick in midfield alongside Lee Jones. Um, a fantastic player. A, a stalwart of Man Be Fat Newport. And, and really does consistently give phenomenal amounts of effort. Mr. Grant Morgan. Grant Morgan. I can hear, I can well hear done. the applause. I, I don't know him. if he's Jandalee's brother. Could be. <laughs> Could be. Could be. Could be. Separated at birth. Um, the Golden Boot. The Golden Boot. Congratulations. Whoa. This is someone else. I, I, I was an autopilot then. Yeah, you've you've it, misspelled Dave Scanlon. Then. It's gone to the amazing Mr. Kirk Freeman. Kirk Freeman did pick it up in his league in season six. He did. Uh, but oh, this this year he's picked it up overall. We don't have to write Scanlon's name on the certificate. Here we go. Talk us talk us through this, Bill. The inaugural inaugural inaugural. I can't talk very well, can I? The inaugural WhatsApp award. Um, Bore into existence by a, a, a throwaway comment, which I wish I didn't make, and it did make me um, pay more attention to the chat this season, which was a joy, which was a joy. Asking for nominations for this award uh, revealed two standout candidates. I can't give this award out without giving a nomination to Chris Taylor, but it is highbrow comedy yeah. that won the day. Um, James Dacey is the WhatsApp award winner for season seven, the inaugural. The inaugural. <laughs> Congratulations. There's a special medal for him. Highbrow, not lowbrow. That, that's too. the target for next season. Um, and now we're going to go to Clubman of the season. This now, is my favourite one. Yeah, I took a punt on this one because I think the three people we've chosen are amazing. They could uh, be. For, all, for all, different reasons, all, all for different reasons. All for different reasons. Luke Rogers, we've put you as clubman of the season because of everything you do for the Wesley York football, getting it back up and running, getting it, you know, as organised as it needs to be. Um, we've given it to Pete Thomas as well. He just, it was general captaincy. He led from the front. He set some, set some standards for being a captain that I know people have taken on. So Luke Rogers, Pete Thomas, and the third one. I've heard so many great things about Pete Thomas, oh, it cool. should be said. Um, I'd be amiss by not saying here. Lots of people attribute their success to him as their captain. So if I could give a captain of the season, I want to give it to him last season. So I'm really pleased that he's won this award. But not as pleased as I am to recognise our third club of the season, Mr. Jalen Pisani. Jalen Pisani is 
That's it, that, for anyone, anyone is wonderful. Uninitiated, this is Mini Banny. Mini Banny. Mini Banny. He is everywhere. proper Mini Banny as well. I love him. He's everywhere in the league. He's always asking questions. He's been nagging when the award ceremony is. He wants to. Be, he wanted to be involved in some way. And you are involved in some way because we thank you so much for being part of our league and being around and supporting your brother. Thank you, Jalen. Support network around boys is so critical for success when making huge lifestyle changes like this. And he and he's there almost every week. Talking to Mikey Henderson, Mikey Henderson described his average day leaving the house. Can't do it without bumping into Jalen. He's always there. He's always, always there. there. Um, we appreciate you very much. Yeah, thank you, Jalen. He's my biggest thank man you. as well. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Luke. Um, moment of the season. This is a great one. This is the easiest one. Oh, is it? This was the easiest, one easiest one award ever to ever. a side. Oh, do you want to talk us through it? Whoa, well, I finished my game. It's a summer's day. It's okay. about seven o'clock. I've come off. Um, I think it's Bogeyman versus Pink Lazies. Yeah. And um, I'm looking around and I can only see two Pink Lazies. Where what's, are they? What's going on here? Where are you? What's going on here? So I've had to I've had to grab five five borrows from the crowd, stuck them onto the pitch. Okay, five borrows, it's a forfeit. We move. But it doesn't end there, Stan. Whoa. They start to arrive. Whoa. One at a time. The pink lazies, or rather the pink ladies, <laughs> start to arrive. We sub off the borrows. The borrowers were winning the game. Pink Lazies were on to lose the game. It, it, it would never be topped. It no, would never be topped. No. And it, it seems a shame to like blame it on Dan and Jordan and, and Jenks and, and even Jay. You know, I don't blame any of those. We people. need to blame one person, and that person is Mr. Lee Jones. Yeah, he, he, he ruined that, really. Ruined that for everybody. He ruined the whole night. Um, best newcomer. Bill. Another easy one, I think. Another easy one. This man joined midway through the season um, and he came in and he, he hit the ground running and he hit the ground hard. Achieved amazing things really quickly. Five and 10% awards clocked off. He attributes lots of his success to the wonderful Pete Thomas, who was his captain. And now of Olympic de Marseille, continuing to do great things. Yeah. Best newcomer in season seven goes to Mr. Tom, Tom Beale. Beale. Yeah, well done, Tom. Um, I'm enjoying this. Um, now we know all of these. People know who these are, so let's go through them nice and quick. All right then. Amber League top scorer Bill, who was it? It was Mr. Simon Phillips and Mr. Ross Gudgeon. Good to see Ross picking up more trophies because he hasn't got very many. Yeah, a shit. I, I, like I like a shazy. I like a shazy for that as well. More. Uh, Blackley top scorer Bill. The one, the only, Steve Knowles. Congratulations, Beyonce. Amber League amazing loser, the person who's lost the most percentage. There's no shares, there's no sharesies here. Simon Phillips. Well done, Simone. And our Black League amazing loser. He came in, it was week one, 5%. Bang. He came back, it was week two. 10%. Bang. Loads of weight really quickly. You can't keep that off, surely? No. Nope. Yes, he can. Yeah. Louis Meek, Black League, amazing loser. I think it's Lewis. Lewis. It might be Lewis. Yeah. Um, you pick up our final award of the night. Congratulations. Keeping that off for the season, that's a real feat. And there's a sexy medal coming your way as a result. Sexy, sexy, sexy medal. Um, and that's it from us. That was the Man We Fact Newport Season 7 Awards. We've put all of these logos on there because we want to thank everyone who was part of every single one of these teams. Uh, these teams were our first ever to stay together for three seasons, I believe. I you first to stay together for three seasons and you all supported each other. Win, lose or draw on the pitch. Win, lose or draw on the scales. If things were going well, you support each other. If things weren't going well, you support each other. And we thank you so much um, for that. So, League's in a wonderful place and it is down to all of you. So, thank you very, very much. I can think of nothing else to finish on but one thing. Do you know how to say it in watch? Ah, I wish I did. Mm, maybe that was for season eight. And line a cast now with? That would be up the Newport, wouldn't it? Yeah. Up the port. Up the port.